so Proverbs chapter 11 and verse number 30. The fruit, and I'm reading from New King James. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And he who wins souls is wise. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. You see, the fruit of the righteous, the fruit that the people eat from is people and the life of people. Our lives, people eat from us. People see, we are living epistles. And then it goes on to say, he who wins. Wins is actually the word takes. He who takes souls is wise. And that's takes with them when they go on into eternity. He who takes souls is wise. He who takes souls with him when he leaves this life is a wise person. And so that's the backdrop of why we are gathered here today. Because we want to take some souls. Amen? Amen. We want to take some souls. And, and I want to I wanna say this about... Um, us as people who will draw others to Christ. You have to have zeal for the Father's house. You have to have passion for the Father's house. And I deal, starting out first, I deal with us as the people of God. And then we migrate on into practical things that deal with altar work and how you can make a difference in your own church where you are as far as reaching people and bringing people to Christ. But zeal for the Father's house. In Christendom, in Christianity, we tend to have um, or developed a view that Becoming a Christian is the end of the story. I'm saved. I'm good. Mentally, I came in, so it's all good. I'm all right now. Then we have the mentality that attending church or what you choose to do on Sunday is a major thing. And, and, and if we basically, our mindset is that I came in and now all I've got to do is maintain until Jesus comes. And, and then, you, you, you know, we're going to go on to the mansion in the sky that's just over the hilltop. Hurrah, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Well, our aim has to change. Our view has to change. God desire, his desire is a place to abide. A place where he can live. A place where people have enlarged their hearts and will push out the things of the world and will push out the things that keep us from becoming what he has ordained for us to become that we will uh we will fight against our carnal desires we will fight against the appetites of the world and we'll fight against what keeps us and hinders us from our relationship with him mm, i feel this we are people who have made room in our hearts for the government of God, that he can reign. We have made room in our hearts for the kingdom. We talk kingdom-minded. Everything is kingdom, kingdom. But talking is different from becoming. Talking is, is really, anybody can talk. People can talk. People have learned how to do what sanctified people do. People have literally learned the script. We know how to, you know, we've got people who come to the altar and, and because we are so lacking in training, as soon as tears come down, we think repentance has come. <laughs> but people have learned how to cry. And then there are some people who are criers. By nature, they just cry at the, if with anything. So we have to learn to discern what's really going on. 